Um, excuse me. Are you new here? You okay? Sorry about your sweater, pigeon. Sorry, have we met? Oh, you, you don't remember, Travis? You, you ruined your sweater. I ruined a lot of sweaters. I'm pretty sure they retired bad double entendre. Pigeon. Abby. My name was Abby. Travis. Why are you here? Why are you sending me mixed signals? There's nothing mixed about my signals. I just caught you in so stalking me. I'll pick you up at eight. But wait, you don't have my number. We can at least be friends. Friends, but with no benefits. Just stay out of Travis's room, all right? What? He doesn't know me. My bedroom is down the hall, and the bed is all yours for when you want to crash. I'm not going to sleep in your bed. No one but me sleeps in my bed. Care to make it interesting? Like a bet? If he manages to lay a hand on me, I'll go without sex for a week. Three months. Three months? That's impossible. Okay, and if I win, you have to stay with me for a month. I am never having sex with you. I don't want to have sex with you, bitch. I want to be around you. You're good for me. Pack your bags, pigeon! You're coming home with me! Down at the sun. You know, this is really easy. Travis makes you laugh. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I'm just confused. To hear how I really feel about you, Abby? No, I, I don't. Abby, then... Because I don't feel the same way. You're lying. I'm not! America, I think I'm in love with him. I did it because I care about you. Well, Travis, you're too late. Tomorrow the bet's over and you never have to see me again. You're gonna have to walk away from me because I can't walk away from you. You know what the best part about this is, Pigeon? Mm -hmm. You're not gonna remember any of it. When I tell you that I'm madly in love with you, I won't remember. But I really mean it. I miss it. Again? In the afternoon? Yeah, we're not really in sync, are we? more like a disaster since it's my birthday and our last night together as roommates that maybe we do something special a foot massage abby's disappeared hang on i'm tracking her location she's headed to vegas vegas this isn't good how am i supposed to know when you keep everything a secret i had to track you down to a strip club in vegas god i love you Hey, Travis, why do you call me Pigeon? You don't know what a pigeon is? I've had enough crazy in my life. I don't want any more crazy. And Travis, you make me crazy. It's a dove, an attractive girl. Uh, a winning hand in poker. See, you're my pigeon. Sit. I love you. A few. Travis Maddox. Vegas for another night? <laughs> That'll be a disaster. Let's do it. Why don't we start at Happily Ever After? Was that your wedding night? Uh, that's a little unclear. Yeah. That's not real. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's just us goofing around. That's fine. Right? You can't tell me that you're not freaking out about this. Travis, we're married. That means that you're stuck with me forever. Let's start from the beginning. Tell me how you fell in love. <sighs> from the moment I saw her, I couldn't take my eyes off of her. Then I caught her insta-stalking me, which was creepy. She wasn't so adorable. I was not insta-stalking. Okay, maybe I was. But he was all I could think about. And we went on this really romantic date, and uh, I knew she was the one. So I made a bet with her. And if I won, she'd have to be my roommate for a month. Platonic. I lost the bet. And yeah, he was charming, but crazy. Anyhow, 
Against my better judgment, I fell madly in love with him. And then I saved her. And then I saved him. And then we found her stolen money, ran away from the bad guys, and lived happily ever after. I like my name. Abby Abernathy is a great name. That has a really good flow to it. I like the fact that you're beautiful, smart, can make us a fortune of money in less than an hour, but I will never, ever find anyone like you. <gasps> oh, the Travis Abernathy? You could be trendsetting. She's ready. Is this the only protection you have? Ta da! Wow. You look amazing. Are you okay? How's your tummy? You look a little bit clammy. I'm. What? You bailed on wedding night dinner, mm. minus five points. You lied, mm. minus five points. And then you insulted my good grandmother, mm. minus five points. Shit, that's a lot of points. Travis planned the happiest two days of Abby's life. You want to talk about it? How am I going to pursue criminal justice living in Paris? I don't know. I mean, I also didn't know that we were going to get married after three months. How about what? How we're married and we barely know each other? Yeah. I'm going to go for a walk. Have you ever stopped to think maybe why I'm against an annulment? What couple do you know that has survived? I said hi to you this morning. Oh. Is that what that was? When you showed your cock to the worker? What about female empowerment? Isn't that what the diversity movement's all about? Oh my god, I hate you right now. Hey, hey, hey. Where'd you go? You seem distracted. Well, I was just trying to find out where our friends were. I didn't ask them to take their tops off. Oh, okay. Están bajo arresto. Really? Thank you guys for bailing us out and being so nice. I'm just sorry my husband is so rude. Well, I wouldn't have to be so rude if my wife would just respect some of my rules. Are you going to housebreak me too? I was going to say requests. I think you're being an asshole. And I think that getting married at 19 is the dumbest shit in the world. She's my wife. She just has a bad habit of running away. Yes, because she is running from you. But all I care about right now is my best friend and she's in love with you. Yeah, I love her too. What, what's the problem? The problem is you're suffocating her! You're suffocating her and she has a bad habit of disappearing and I don't want that to happen to either of us. Something tells me that this marriage is worth fighting for. And I know I'm not ordained yet, but if you and Travis ever want to talk and you can feel it, you're Hi. It's the first time we've been in sync for a while. Yeah. Sorry, I've been such a dick. I mean, you haven't. It's... I really have. Look, I mean, I have a really bad habit of running away from my problems. You do? I do. And I really don't want to run away from you. Abby, are you in there? Oh, God, he's going to kill you! Abby, open up! Abby, I, I have nothing to do with this. You have to believe me. Dude. Travis. I do. When I sobered up this morning and I had a second to think, I figured that, I don't know, that some girls must have taken your phone or something. And that's the truth. Right. I believe you. Our whole relationship has just been this crazy pressure cooker. I'm about to be a divorcee at 19. What? Yeah. Miguel, I know that you said that there's something in Travis and I that's worth fighting for, but... You know, I don't really think I have any fight left. And neither of us have been able to go off and have any fun or blow off any steam. Love, Abby, love. Your guy, this guy, the fighter, Travis, and the passion you two have. You think you can buy that on Amazon? You cannot. He wants you to fight for her. You don't think I'm trying? Then dude, try fucking harder. It's like dad always said. Sometimes you have to fight for both of you when one of you gives up. But 